director. Of, I'm the ac I'm the academic director of the Integrated Marketing and Communications Department here at the Division of Programs in Business at the School of Professional Studies. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to see so many of you join this call. I want to thank George uh, particularly for his ingenuity and resourcefulness and constant dedication to our students. Um, and I want to thank Ria and her colleagues at the IMA for helping us promote and most especially uh, to welcome Karthik. I think we're all uh, fascinated to hear about the journey you've been on and the work of PNG. So without further ado, I'll, I'll hand that back to, uh, to George. Well, great. Thank you so much, uh, um, Michael, for joining us. And for those of you who I see are joining online, uh, my name, once again, is George Benaroya. Now, during the day, I work as a CFO. My first job was at Procter & Gamble and then Tetra Pak, Byersdorf, and now in private equity. Now, I remember that at PNG on my first year, I learned many things that I didn't learn doing an MBA. And so what I do once per week is something that I really love, and that is to teach this finance class here at NYU. Now, the way we do it to be different in the sense that we try to uh, have the students first on session number one, pick a company, any company, and they have chosen Procter & Gamble. And then we learn about finance by looking at the financial decisions that companies make in real life. Let me show you how it works. And it will be great if some of you can tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. Great, excellent. So imagine that you know we're on session two and we look at headcount. So we say, okay, how many people are we going to hire next year for you know the entire marketing department on a global basis? And that number is uh, 110, and this is one of our students. Now then we look at things like Okay, in Europe, severance is uh, you know, regulated by law. In the US, it's not. What can we learn from other countries? For example, my second boss at Procter & Gamble taught me something which was quite interesting, and that is the, that it's good for business to treat people right. The next session, on session three, we look at price changes and we say, okay, if we delay a price increase or decrease from January to March, what is the overall effect for the total year? We then look at, for example, you know, um, something, skincare cream, and we say, okay, this sells for $20, but in New York, salaries are 56% higher than in El Paso, Texas. So should we have a local, national, or global price list? And in general, what we do is we have students share their opinions, right? So in, in all these global companies, we say, well, maybe we should do it like this, or we should do it like that. And we foster that in class to have different views for the, for the p and in 2019, 2020, and, and the previous year, and so on. And the other thing that we do is to invite two senior executives to share with us how they make these decisions in real life. And tonight I'm delighted that uh, we have the regional CFO at Procter & Gamble, Kortrick Natajarant, uh, who has also you know, led business transformation in six countries where he has both lived and worked that is in the US, China, Dubai, uh, India, the Philippines, and Singapore. Now, PNG is the largest advertiser in the world. Their sales are at $70 billion, over 70 billion. And they have billion dollar brands like Gillette, Always, Pampers, Tide, Head and & Shoulders, and Crest. I was just telling Federico at PNG that when I started, we didn't have emails. I'm, I will be doing these spreadsheets you know, in Excel and go one by one with all, all these brands and so on. The world has changed a lot since then. Now, over 2,000 employees from 40 nationalities work at the regional headquarters in Singapore. And as CFO, Procter & Gamble, Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa, Mr. Natterdan manages a team of over 1,000 professionals. 
He's also regularly representing Procter & Gamble in media and other public engagements to share PNG's vision and mission. And as they say, grow our business, our people, and our service to the community. Now, look, we've been communicating with, uh, with Patrick late at night. He's extremely busy. He has a meeting that, that you know, he has to run to and so on. And so for those of you who are, um, you know, uh, unmuted, I would like to, to ask you to join me in a warm round of applause. And on behalf of all the students, Katri, thank you very, very much for joining our class. Over to you, Katri. Josh, can you hear me? Yes, we can, yeah. And can you see my slides? Not yet. All right, just one second. Okay, look. Um, you can hear me, they just need to see the yeah, slides. They... Oh, they can hear me, that's not an issue. They can hear you? Yeah. We can hear you perfectly well, it's okay. great now. And you, if you just press the share screen at the bottom, then we'll be able to see your screen as well. Yep, just give a second, Judge. Yep. Perfect. Can you see it see now? It now? Yep. All right. Uh, a very good evening to everyone. Uh, I hope you're staying safe. I hope your families are staying safe. Um, I want to thank George for this wonderful opportunity. Um, nothing better than starting my day by interacting with young minds. Uh, and I also want to thank Michael for the warm welcome. Um, the topic today is very close to my heart. So I'll start by saying a good strategic framework is one that helps businesses win and thrive everywhere, right? Before I actually get into the topic, let me just briefly introduce myself. I've spent over 20 years with PNG. I currently serve PNG, the shareholders and the consumers in the Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa region. Um, I'm the region CFO here. Uh, in my 20 plus years, I've, as George said, I've lived in six countries. I'll tell you a small story. Uh, the first time I actually took a flight in my adult life was actually when I moved from one city in India to another city to join BNG. Um, 20 years back, flights were still expensive in India, and most middle-income families could not afford it, and neither could we. Uh, thanks to PNG, I've now been to over 35 countries, uh, spread across six out of the seven continents. We still don't have a business in Antarctica. We'll eventually get there. Um, but everywhere else, I've had the opportunity, thanks to this company, to visit, learn, and meet consumers. Um, Importantly, uh, my family has had the privilege of living in six countries, so let me briefly introduce them to you. Uh, Sandhya and I have been married for over 15 years. Uh, I've been blessed with a wonderful wife who likes the adventure of moving to different places. Uh, and we have two lovely children. Gohan is eight, and Ananya turns five in a week from now. Right? Uh, so that's, that's family. Let me start with a brief story about Gohan, actually. It sort of explains why I've been with PNG for over 20 years, because that's a question I get very often. Uh, when Gohan was born, and Gohan was our first child, Sandhya and I were in Cincinnati. Uh, I was doing a business planning role, and suffice to say that it was an important role to be done with long hours because th there are a lot of things that change when you're working on business plans for a $70 billion company. Um, Sandhya developed some complications in the pregnancy, so we had to rush her to the hospital. Uh, and when we reached the hospital, the doctor said, you're not going to leave this hospital without delivering the baby and it was going to be a preterm baby. My vice president called and said, take all the time you need, make sure that Sandhya's there for, I said, make sure you're there for Sandhya, uh, and make sure you come back only when you feel like you're ready. Okay. Uh, not just that, after the baby was delivered, Gohan was preterm. So we needed to make sure that he spent quality time in the neonatal facility. He's fine now, he's a healthy eight year old. Uh, but at that point, obviously we didn't know that. Um, so we are stressed as a young couple with our first baby. The PNG spouses did a, such a wonderful job. Even after I had to go back to work, they would actually make a schedule to take Sandhya to the neonatal facility every day. And then I would drive back after work to pick them up. 
Uh, that's what makes PNG so special. PNG and its people are there for me, have been there for me every time I went through anything tough, be it at personal or in my professional journey. And that's why I've been with this company for 20 plus years. And the fact that even after these many years, I, feel, I still feel like I'm learning every day on the job. And that's testimony to the quality of the people this company has. With that, let me start by sharing one of my favorite quotes about strategy. Right? Strategy is not a Eureka moment. Um, when I was young, I used to think I, I'd come up with some brilliant strategies by doing some insightful work, and one day I would get up and think I've, I've figured it out. It doesn't quite work that way. Strategy is a journey. It needs to be part of the DNA, be it the thinking process or the activity of a company to be successful. Hence, it is important that we continue to evolve it and work every day to make sure that we are able to operationalize it. What you'll hear me speak today is a brief introduction of who we are as a company, as Procter & Gamble. Then I have the pleasure and privilege of introducing my region to you, which is Asia, Pacific, Middle East, and Africa. And then we get to the core of the discussion, which is strategies to win in Asia and everywhere. I do want to make this very interactive. George has been kind enough to collect questions. I want to address them as we go along. And I want to have quality time towards the end for Q&A. Um, to the extent that I'll, I'll get to as many questions as possible, I want to make sure that we have the full hour. I apologize, we started a little late for all the technical glitches that sometimes happen, but I'll make sure that we spend the full hour. And if there are additional questions, uh, George, if you could send them to me by email, I'll be happy to address them by email as well. And then you can share it to the students. Great, excellent. How would you like to go about it, you know, for your slides? Would you like me to like raise my hand when there is a question about that slide? Or Absolutely. Feel free to okay. interrupt me as many times as possible. The more interactive it is, the better it is. Great, excellent. Thanks. All right, this is who we are. We, Procter & Gamble, are a company of brands. Uh, our brands serve a purpose. In today's environment, where consumers' concern on health and hygiene are heightened, we are, are and our brands play an even more important role, and we take this responsibility very seriously. From laundry detergents, to tissue paper, to feminine hygiene products, to baby diapers, to shampoos, we want to make sure that these products are available to consumers at this point in time when it's especially important for them and their families. And while we are very proud of our brands, we are a company that also put people first. Instead of me trying to articulate it, I want you to quote, I want to take a quote from one of our former CEOs, Richard Dupree, which is relevant today as it was when he made it uh, 30, 40 years back. Let me read it to you because it's one of my favorite quotes. What he said was, if you leave us our money, our buildings and our brands, but take away our people, the company will fail. But if you take away our money, our buildings and our brands, but leave us our people, we can rebuild the whole thing in a decade. Right? Uh, this encapsulates everything that we believe in. 